a homemade cloud chamber, otherwise known as the world's greatest mess, finally stable. I worked and worked and worked on this thing. This now runs 24-7. It doesn't need any downtime to uh, reset itself or anything. The trick was in reuptake. Alcohol vapor uh, condenses on that cold plate, creates a super saturated condition, ion trails from uh, neutrons, electrons, and protons. Uh, very high energy, they cause a contrail to form in their path, much like a jet airliner does at altitude. Um, but it would never run for very long and I, it would slowly fade away the mist and I would have to let it warm up, you know, and uh, reset it, kind of. What I figured out is that the sponge, if I tilt the whole thing at an angle, uh, using plates you can't really see because it's dark down there, um, if I tilt the whole thing back and then and then uh, put a sponge in there toward the angle of the roll, then uh, the alcohol condenses to a point where it can no longer support itself, and it rolls down and hits the sponge. The sponge takes it back up to a height in there, and then it can recondense. It's a closed loop, basically and it works very well. I, I had to play with it, uh, and that's what she said, over and over for a long time to get it right. And yeah, it turned out to be really simple. It's just you have to exhaust all the uh, all the options before you really figure out what you're doing with this kind of thing when you don't know to start with. Anyway, yeah, all those little streaks are uh, background radiation. There's no radioactive sample in there. It's just background. And this is pretty normal. Uh, the counts are about right for any given place in the world. Some places are hotter, some places aren't. It comes down to, uh, mostly, what's in the soil. Uranium and thorium have been around since, the, since before the creation of the Earth. And uh, the soil is typically, you know, scattered with uh, radioactive bits of minerals that bear uh, uranium and thorium mostly. And uh, it's just everywhere, you know, plus cosmic ray showers and all kinds of things. It's just part and parcel. You don't know it's there because you can't feel the stuff. But the human body has evolved and developed to withstand it. It's just part of our environment. Uh, cancer does arise from it. It's one of those things that causes cancer sometimes but there are other things that cause cancer far more prevalently, like smoking, exposure to the sun, etc. Uh, but yeah, pretty neat, right? Pretty cool. You should see it with a sample in there. It's just crazy active. Uh, yeah, that's been my pet project for keeping me busy and sane for the last month or so. Anyway, there it is. Um, I'm going to put up another video showing a breakdown of how it's all put together, but really there's not much to it. Any fool could do this in, say, an hour or two in their kitchen, just like I have. Not complicated, not at all. This is one of those things, if you never put it together right, you'll never know what it does. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check back with me later. Bye for now.